In the next few lessons, we will explore numeric data types. We will first revisit the minimum and maximum ranges of all the different kinds of numbers. And then we will look at mathematical functions, procedures, operators and expressions that can be used with numbers. Today, we will start with integer types and integer variable declarations. An integer is a whole number. We looked at the different types of integers in previous lessons, but I will go into more detail in this video. We will also create a Delphi project to explore integer types. The smallest integer is a byte. It is called a byte because its storage in memory is exactly one byte. Bytes range from 0 to 255. We used bytes many times in previous demos, so by now you should know how to declare and name byte variables. Delphi also supports short int. A short int is also one byte in storage, but half of the numbers are negative numbers and the other half is positive numbers, and of course zero in the middle. In some programming languages, this is called a signed byte because of the minus sign that may appear in the front of the number. Bigger than a byte is a small int. A small int reserves two bytes in storage. The range of numbers for a small int is minus 32,768 to positive 32,767 and we use SML as the prefix for small int variables. Then we have integer. Although we call this one integer, all the others are also integers or whole numbers. The integer data type stores 4 bytes. Its range is from minus 2.1 billion to positive 2.1 billion. You can make a note of the exact value as it appears there on the screen. If you want to concatenate any of these integer types to strings, you must first convert them to strings. The intoString function converts any integer type to a string. Here is an example of a byte variable named pteh that is first converted to a string with the intoString function before it is concatenated and saved into a string variable. And this statement does the same, but in this case the integer type is a short int called SHT score. And this example is doing the same with a small int. And this one is for an integer called int population. Another function that we use often is string to int. This function is the opposite of int to string. We typically get these numbers from the text or the captions of components like edits and labels. Remember, in the ASCII lessons you learned that numbers are also characters. When we type numbers into input boxes or edits, they are strings. If you want to do calculations with those inputs, you must first convert the string to integers with the string to int function. Here is an example of the number 6 between single quotes. This number is actually a character. To store it in a byte variable, we must first convert it with the string to int function. And this statement does the same, but in this case the number comes from the text property of an edit called edit score. The text property of an edit is a string, so we must first convert the text to an integer type before we can assign it to a short int variable. And this example is converting a number saved in a string variable to an integer before assigning it to the small int named SML distance. And this one converts the text in an edit before assigning it to the integer variable named int population. In a previous lesson you learned about ordinal types. An ordinal type is a data type that can be sorted and counted. And we can use them as counters for loops. So later in this course when we learn loops we will use ordinal types. We learned that characters are ordinal types because they have ASCII numbers that range from 0 to 255. All the integer types like byte, short int, small int and integer are also ordinal types because all numbers follow each other in an order and we can use them to do counting and we can use them as counters for loops. Now let's do a project to explore integer variables. If you do not want to create the user interface yourself, you can download the starter files from my Patreon page at patreon.com slash learndelphi. After downloading the starter files, open the project in your copy of Delphi and write the code with me. Here's the starter project in design time. Here I have a button that will display outputs in a bunch of panels. These panels are just displaying the names of integer data types. And these blank panels must display the range of numbers of integer data types when we click the button. Double click the button to create an event handler for the on click event of PTN display details. Go above the begin statement and type var and on the next line type bte low, comma bte high as byte. These two variables must store the lowest and highest values of a byte data type. 
go between the begin and end statements. Type three comments to separate your input, processing and output. In this project, we are not going to receive inputs from the user. Our input will be implicit values that belongs to Delphi. Go under processing and type this code. And type this on the next line. The low and high functions return the minimum and maximum values supported by integer types. The name of the data type is passed in as the parameter. In this case, it is byte. The lowest number that a byte supports is zero, and that will be assigned to the byte variable called BTE low. On this line, we pass the byte data type to get the maximum value supported by a byte, which is 255. The result is then assigned to the byte variable named BTE high. Go under output and type this statement. Here, we read the values in the two byte variables and we first convert them to strings with the intoString function before we display the output in the caption of a panel named PNL byte range. Before we do the rest of the integer types, let's first run the project. Click the display details button. The first panel displays the range of numbers that a byte supports. Close the form. Under the byte variable, type SHT low, comma SHT high as short int. Go to a new line under processing and type the following. Here, we get the minimum and maximum values for a short int and assign them to the two short int variables we declared. Go to a new line under output and type this. This will convert the short ints to strings before displaying the range in a panel called PNL short int range. Run the project again. Click display details. The second output panel displays the range of numbers supported by a short int. Close your form. Under the short int variables, type sml low, comma sml high as small int. Go to a new line under processing and type the following. Here we get the minimum and maximum values for a small int and assign them to the two small int variables we declared. Go to a new line under output and type this code. This code will convert the small int to strings before displaying the range in a panel called PNL small int range. Run the project again. Click display details. The third output panel displays the range of numbers supported by a small int. Close your form. Under the small int variables type int low, comma int high as integer. Go to a new line under processing and type the following. Here we get the minimum and maximum values for an integer and assign them to the two integer variables we declared. Go under output and type this statement. This will convert the integers to strings before displaying the range in a panel called PNL integer range. Run the project again. Click display details. The fourth panel displays the range of numbers supported by an integer. Close your form and save the project. We will learn a lot more about integers and other numeric data types in this course. In the next lesson, we will revisit floating point numbers. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like and subscribe and share my lessons with all your friends. Also, a big thank you to my supporters on patreon.com slash learndelphi. See you in the next lesson.